Just 20 years ago, the space industry was dominated by superpower nations like the United States and Russia. Private companies couldn't even dream of entering this competitive race. Developing a rocket was incredibly complex and required massive financial resources, making it a highly risky endeavor. However, SpaceX proved that it was possible not only to compete with these giants, but also to surpass them. SpaceX's success inspired other companies to venture into the space industry. Now, dozens of private space companies operate in the United States and other countries like China. However, only a few are achieving solid results. Among them is Blue Origin, which recently reached a major milestone by launching the highly anticipated New Glenn rocket. Despite this achievement, the booster's landing attempt failed, resulting in its loss. In this video, we'll explore what went wrong during the landing and when Blue Origin plans to launch again. Before we dive deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. After years of delays, on January 16th, the new Glenn rocket finally lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, marking a monumental day for Blue Origin. The launch began with the seven powerful reusable BE-4 engines igniting to propel the rocket into the skies. The first stage performed flawlessly during liftoff, generating immense thrust to carry the NG-1 mission upwards. Approximately two and a half minutes into the flight, the first stage separated from the rocket's second stage, paving the way for the next critical phase of the mission. The second stage, powered by a single vacuum-optimized engine, ignited shortly after separation to carry the payload into orbit. By the eight-minute mark, the rocket had achieved its intended altitude, with the payload successfully deployed into the planned orbit. Meanwhile, attention turned to the first stage booster, which was programmed to return to an ocean platform for recovery. The re-entry process began shortly after separation, with the booster reorienting itself for the descent. The engines reignited for the critical entry burn, designed to slow the booster and guide it toward the landing zone. However, during the final descent phase, an unexpected issue arose. The entry burn lasted 15 seconds shorter than anticipated, and telemetry data indicated reduced deceleration. Despite the efforts of Blue Origin's engineers, the booster ultimately failed to land safely and was lost at sea. Following the unsuccessful landing of Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket booster on January 16, 2025, the Federal Aviation Administration has mandated a mishap investigation to determine the cause of the anomaly. The initiation of this investigation implies that the new Glenn rocket will be grounded until the FAA approves the findings and any necessary corrective actions are implemented. This grounding could potentially disrupt Blue Origin's ambitious launch schedule. The company had announced plans to conduct up to eight new Glenn launches in 2025, including missions for commercial clients. A similar situation occurred with SpaceX's Starship program. In April 2023, during its inaugural integrated test flight, Starship experienced a mid-air explosion shortly after liftoff. The FAA required SpaceX to conduct a comprehensive mishap investigation, which led to a temporary grounding of the Starship program. This process took several months, delaying subsequent test flights and impacting SpaceX's development timeline. If the investigation reveals significant issues, it could lead to extended delays potentially causing Blue Origin to miss its planned launch dates. Blue Origin Company has ambitious plans for lunar exploration. It is developing an uncrewed spacecraft called Blue Moon, which aims to land on the moon's surface. Additionally, Blue Origin has secured a $3.4 billion contract with NASA to help return astronauts to the moon by the end of the decade. We have to understand that this recent success is not something Blue Origin is used to. When Blue Origin first unveiled New Glenn, the company confidently set 2020 as the target for its maiden flight. This timeline was unrealistic from the start. Developing a heavy-lift rocket is no small task, but instead of setting achievable goals, Blue Origin made promises it couldn't keep. By 2020, it was clear the rocket wasn't ready and the company pushed the launch date to 2022. In 2021, the timeline shifted again, with Blue Origin announcing that the launch would be delayed to late 2023. The company attributed the delays to the development of its BE-4 engines, 
which also power ULA's Vulcan rocket. These engines were plagued with technical issues and repeated testing failures, causing significant setbacks. It's worth noting that SpaceX, which faced similar challenges in its early days, managed to solve them far more efficiently and is now launching rockets at an unprecedented pace. By March 2023, Blue Origin admitted that New Glenn wouldn't fly until late 2024. Competitors like SpaceX had already launched and relanded hundreds of rockets, while Blue Origin's flagship vehicle remained grounded. The constant delays gave the impression that the company was more focused on talking about its long-term vision than actually delivering results. Even in 2024, as preparations for the new Glenn launch ramped up, the company announced yet another delay, this time pushing the launch to early 2025. When the rocket finally launched in January 2025, the results were mixed. Yes, the payload reached orbit, but the booster failed to land, a critical part of the rocket's reusability feature. Meanwhile, SpaceX has demonstrated remarkable progress and success with its Starship program and overall launch activities between 2021 and 2024. From 2021 to 2024, SpaceX significantly increased its launch cadence, starting with 31 launches in 2021. By 2022, the company had nearly doubled this number, conducting 61 launches. The pace accelerated further in 2023 with 98 launches. And by 2024, SpaceX achieved an astounding 134 successful orbital launches, accounting for more than half of all global launches that year. In terms of the Starship program, significant advancements were made during this time. In 2021, SpaceX conducted multiple high-altitude flight tests with Starship prototypes. By 2023, the program had progressed to more integrated tests. On April 20th, 2023, SpaceX launched Starship 24 atop a super-heavy booster for its first full-flight test. Although the vehicle did not achieve orbit, the test was instrumental in assessing the performance of both stages during ascent. The flight ended prematurely due to multiple engine failures in the booster, leading to the activation of the flight termination system. Despite the outcome, SpaceX considered the test a success, as it provided critical data for future development. The momentum continued into 2024. In October of that year, SpaceX achieved a significant milestone by successfully catching a super-heavy booster using the Mechazilla launch tower arms. As of early 2025, SpaceX is actively preparing for its eighth Starship test flight. The company has transported the Super Heavy booster to the launch pad at its Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, for pre-flight tests. The upcoming flight is expected to further validate the vehicle's performance and reusability features, bringing SpaceX closer to its goal of making space travel more accessible. However, the program has not been without setbacks. On January 16, 2025, during the seventh test flight, the Starship vehicle experienced a failure approximately 8.5 minutes into the flight. Preliminary analysis suggests that leaking fuel led to a fire, causing a buildup of pressure that resulted in the vehicle breaking apart. Debris was observed falling near the Turks and Caicos Islands. Following this incident, the Federal Aviation Administration mandated a mishap investigation to determine the root cause and implement corrective actions. This investigation could potentially delay subsequent test flights, depending on the findings and required changes. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates.